Robert Downey Jr. secretly signed a contract to return as Iron Man, according to headlines citing the insider, My Time to Shine Hello. Dozens of media outlets picked this up, but of course, it's nonsense. However, it's nonsense based on logical thinking. Upon leaving Marvel, Downey stated that he wanted to try his hand in big cinema, the pinnacle of which is the Oscar. Hence, now not constrained by the Academy's limits, he can act in high cinema and still collect money from Marvel. This leads to renewed hopes for an epic comeback of the actor in the near future. For the next few minutes, we will refrain from making loud statements and suggest simply looking at what Downey himself says about how the old man is living and how he is doing. There's much to talk about, as the actor candidly discusses in the Oscar promo campaign of 2024, that he generally does not discuss personal matters, emotions, and events so much that he might leave an interview if these topics are touched upon during Marvel's promo tours. Robert has always been explosive. A step left or right could lead to shooting a journalist and getting on the superhero's blacklist. In a personal interview, the actor gives himself previously choosing the publication, the first occurred in 2019, immediately after the release of Avengers 4. Contrary to popular belief, Robert stated that he was not looking forward to leaving Marvel, but rather feared it. Transitions between life phases break people. Then, he did not comment on his departure and emotionally added that he is not Stark, and it is precisely what made the public see him as Tony Stark. One of the main reasons for leaving Marvel, Robert said, was to work with other muscles. And you don't need to be a genius to understand that this hints that Downey wants to prove his acting talent in higher cinema. This is, by the way, one of the reasons why Sherlock Holmes 3 has not yet been officially released. It is rumored that Downey himself postponed the project because, in it, he essentially plays Tony Stark, just in a different cinematic era. The Academy does not like this, so Robert postponed the trilogy to play in an open game, and Popcorn did not stop critics from giving him an Oscar. If you think the theory is nonsense, remember the suffering of Leo DiCaprio, whom the Academy could not forgive for the pop Titanic for 15 years, and did not give an Oscar. In Hollywood, this is all very serious, and aiming for awards, actors go into high cinema head first. At that moment, it seemed that Downey was tired of Tony Stark, including us, and agreed that Marvel's return would happen either when Robert runs out of money or when the cinematic universe is going through tough times. However, in a podcast in January this year, Downey suddenly turned everything around. The actor stated that his acting work as Iron Man was incredibly strong, but went unnoticed due to the genre. This started everything because it turns out there was no anger or fatigue from the character for Robert, only anger at critics and audiences who did not let him close to serious awards. Considering the Oscar he received, this changes everything, because now any of Downey's films will boast an Oscar-winning participation. At the ceremony itself, Downey behaved exactly like Tony Stark, with pomp, epicness, and even a kick. The actor seemed clearly rejuvenated, and at the Oscars, he looked as if he was about to pull an iron suit from his backpack in an interview in 2019 where Robert said he is not Stark. It was hard to believe at all. The actor just wanted an Oscar, and he got it. There are no moral restrictions on returning to popcorn cinema anymore, and neither are there for other projects. A couple of years ago, when we checked Downey's life, his career seemed jam-packed. Now it's a rolling field of movies and series at work. Robert has exactly three, two of which are fully ready. The first is a black comedy, Sympathizer, where Downey will play several roles and is likely to collect a bunch of awards for series next award season. The second project is Sherlock Holmes 3, which they still have not started shooting. The third project is Star Weekend, directed by Jamie Foxx. It has also been shot, but the film got into a small issue, which, incidentally, is a close friend of Downey's. Partly, it was because of Robert that he was taken for the role of a Mexican, which caused indignation in the studio and was not suitable. Jamie also stated that this is just one of several dozen potentially dangerous jokes because of which the studio postponed the fully ready film on the shelf and does not want to release it. Fox compares the project to Soldiers of Misfortune, which in 2024 was also refused release by everyone. Overall, it's a long story, and ours is that there is simply nothing for Downey to do. His schedule is as clear as a baby's tear. Therefore, insiders are inventing news about the contract with Marvel because there are no movies at Roberts. It's silly to believe these news because the lack of work at Downey's is not a bug, but a feature. Robert specifically waited for an Oscar to receive fat offers both from the blockbuster studio and from high directors like Quentin Tarantino, who loves Oscar winners. 
Interest in Downey is there and there. Actors have been knocking from DC for 15 years, where J.J. Abrams told about a nearly concluded contract at the time for the role of Lex Luthor. On the other hand, Christopher Nolan has revealed that many of his authoritative colleagues are trying to get Downey in films that will compete for an Oscar in the future. In general, in the next couple of months, Robert will definitely announce a couple of projects. But what about Marvel after all? Here, everything is super interesting because during a joint interview with Nolan for the Portal Vare, Robert was asked about DC and he suddenly stated that he cannot talk about studio characters because of Kevin Feige. Downey will die down. It is clear from the cinema that the actor meant as a face of Marvel, he is forbidden to promote DC in any form, even in the form of a simple mention, because from his mouth, it sounds like advertising. The only question is why the heck, because Downey's contract with Marvel supposedly ended five years ago, or even in 2019, Robert was forbidden to talk about DC with a 10-year reserve. Either Downey has a new contract that has not yet been announced but is already in effect. The second option was chosen by all insiders, but we do not particularly believe in it, not in vain. Robert was paid almost a quarter of a billion for the Infinity War and the finale. This amount surely included a ban on working with competitors from DC for several years ahead. On the other hand, Kevin Feige in December of the 23rd year in an interview with Vanity Fair magazine stated that there are no negotiations with Robert. True, there is a play on words here because Feige was talking exclusively about the resurrection of that very version of Downey. So even in such seemingly unequivocal statements, the boss of Marvel leaves the door open to bring out another version of Tony Stark from the past or from another universe. It's simple, and there are almost no doubts that they will do it in The Secret Wars, but is there a chance to see Robert earlier? Here, in fact, everything is very interesting because inside Disney, a scandal is brewing right now. The studio canceled the centennial anniversary. However, its shares are plummeting and projects are failing one after another. To save the ship, Bob Iger returned, who has already announced the return of Disney to its roots, but he has rivals. The main billionaire, Nelson Peltz, one of the largest shareholders of the Mouse House, is trying to get a place on the board of directors and in the management of Disney under the slogan that everything by the current management has been successfully spent and radical measures are needed. Who is right and who is guilty is not our business. Our business is to state that there can be no talk of any clear plans at Disney and accordingly at Marvel. The management is experiencing active debates. Already began, canceling to hell with half of Kevin Feige's hypothetical projects and instructing to focus on old good blockbusters. Pelt does not lag behind, and for both, it would be a gift of fate to get Downey Jr. back at any cost. The leaders surely understand that his face is the simplest way to earn a billion at the box office. Thus, in the near future, everything in the superhero world might change greatly. Especially since the equation includes another person, Tom Cruise, who recently stated in an interview that he would consider any superhero role if given a good script, which brought the community back to 2007 when Cruise almost played Iron Man instead of Downey Jr. It went so far that Robert himself had to comment on the situation in February 2024. He confirmed that Cruz was indeed the studio's first choice, and he only got the role because Tom refused, and Kevin Feige added that they only disagreed on the salary, all other points had already been discussed. But the emerging superheroica could not afford Cruz's demands. Now it can, and Tom could also become a magic wand in the backstage fights of Disney bosses whether Iger or the new management. They want to see A-list actors in the cinema from the studio. Hence, the star cast of the Fantastic Four in the form of Tom Cruise, who will play a variant of Tony Stark, too obvious a choice. So, as ironically as it sounds, Robert Downey Jr. also has competition, and the coming months will be very interesting because whatever gets decided will be decided soon. One of the pillars of Marvel's success is confidence in tomorrow and a clearly outlined list of future hits. Currently, this is not available, but after the struggle for power at Disney ends, the first thing to be determined is the schedule. And there are no doubts that Downey Jr. will play an important role in the discussions of the schedule. What do you think? Should Robert return to popcorn cinema? Or is it better to delve into serious cinema and continue to collect awards? Leave your opinion in the comments, and that's all from us until new meetings.